All right. We're going to talk about energy and light. Niels Bohr studied the electrons, said that they moved around like planets in an orbit, and that it took a certain amount of energy for the electrons to go from one energy level to the next. Okay, they're always going to, to go from one to two is always going to be the same amount of energy. Once the electron would get tired, it would fall back and it would release that energy, and that energy acted like a little packet of light, which is a photon, and that energy would travel. Now, if we study the amount of energy it has, we can we can learn a lot about it and we can discover what its wavelength is, we can discover what its frequency is. The uh, electromagnetic spectrum, we know that as the electromagnetic spectrum gets smaller and smaller, or the wavelength gets smaller and smaller, we know that the frequency goes up. So low frequency, high frequency short wavelength. All right? So that relationship, that inverse relationship, if we take wavelength times frequency, we get a constant, which happens to be the speed of light. So any of our calculations that we're going to do today, we can calculate using the speed of light. Okay? And up at the top of this page, I've got those equa the equations for uh, the, with the speed of light. Now, the second relationship is that as the energy, as the, sh the wavelength gets shorter, the frequency gets higher, and the energy, the amount of energy increases. So we have a high amount of energy. That's a one-to-one -one relationship. It's not inverse. So energy is equal to frequency. In order to get those to balance out, we have to multiply it by a constant. And this is what Max Planck did. He studied that energy, and he came up with a constant. H is Planck's constant. And Planck's constant is 6.63 .6 times 10 to the negative 34. So if we want to calculate energy, we first need to know either frequency or wavelength and we can figure out the energy that that little photon right here has. All right, let's practice some problems. There's some information given up in the box that we may need to refer to. All right, we'll practice problems. The first problem talks about a photon that has a wavelength of 500, 589, wow, look at that. Technology is not my friend today. 589 nanometers. Now, one nanometer is equal to 10 to the negative ninth meters. So we can simply write this as 589 times 10 to the negative ninth nanometers, or not nanometers, meters. You could also write it correctly scientifically. Your calculator may correct it to 5.89 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. These two numbers, same number. So we're going to take the speed of light divided by our wavelength to calculate frequency. 3.0 times 10 to the negative, 10 to the eighth meters per second divided by 5.89 times 10, 589 times 10 to the negative ninth meters. All right, because the calculator, because it involves scientific notation and the calculator on the computer doesn't work, so I'm just going to do it in here. So, actually, let's do this. see it? All right. So, three second EE eight 
divided by 589 second EE negative 9 equals, and it gives me 5.09 times 10 to the 14th. Five point zero nine times ten to the fourteenth. That means it's waving back and forth that many times in one second. Our second one, calculate the frequency. So this time, frequency is going to be equal to the speed of light divided by wavelength again. So it's still frequency. Same formula. 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second and it gives us a wavelength in meters, 0 0.032 meters. So we don't. Have, so if we look at the if we look at the calculation, we get 9.3 times 10 to the ninth. 9.375. So I'll round up to eight times 10 to the ninth per seconds. Okay. The third one has us calculating, uh, we've got a radio station that's broadcasting at a frequency of 590 kilohertz, so we want to know the wavelength. This time we're going to use wavelength is equal to speed of light divided by frequency. Okay, it's speed of light, 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Frequency, 1 kilohertz is equal to 1,000 hertz. We have 590 kilohertz. So that's 590,000 hertz. So, 3 second E8 divided by 590, 000, zero, zero hertz equals 5.08 times 10 to the second. Five point zero eight times 10 to the second meters. Okay, if we multiply that out, that's 508 meters. That's five football fields long. Okay, question number four says what is the energy so this time we've got we're going to have two steps first it gives us wavelength and then we want to solve for energy so energy the formula for energy if we look back up at the top energy is fre uh, frequency times Planck's constant we're given wavelength so first we have to solve for frequency frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by wavelength and then we're going to take that answer, multiply it by Planck's constant to get our energy in joules. All right, speed of light 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second divided by the wavelengths 0.129 meters. That is going to give us a frequency. 3 second 8 divided by... 0.129 equals 2.32 times 10 to the 9th. Per second. Now we have to change that to joules of energy. So we multiply by Planck's constant 6.63 times 10 to negative 34 joule seconds. All right, so here's our answer, in, uh, our frequency. We're going to multiply by Planck's constant, 6.63 second E, e second E, e. Oh, man, I'm having problems today. Let's see. Volts. All right, 2.35 times 10 to the 9th. Now I'm going to multiply that by Planck's constant, 6.63, negative 34. And I get 1.54 times 10 to the negative 24.
1.54 times 10 to the negative 34, 24 joules of energy. Let me rewrite that a little bit neater for you. 1.54 times 10 to the negative 24 joules. All right. One more. Calculate the energy of one photon of yellow light that has a wavelength of 589 nanometers. So, once again, we're going to calculate energy. Energy is equal to, to frequency times Planck's constant, so we need to figure out frequency. Frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by wavelength. So, first off, 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second divided by the wavelength, 589 nanometers, that's the same as 589 times 10 to the negative second meters. If you want to see me pushing the buttons. Three second E8. Yeah, that doesn't matter, I guess. 589 second E negative 9 equals 5.09 times 10 to the 14th. That's our frequency. Now we're going to multiply it times our um, Planck's constant, 6.63 E. Oh, man. E negative 34. And we get 3.38 times 10 to the negative 19. 3.38 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. I'm going to move this over. So what we did was we took speed of light divided by the wavelength and then multiplied that answer by Planck's constant. Alright, so hopefully that helps.